Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in operating system that is directory structure. So in our previous session, we have seen the introduction to our files, different types of files, file extensions and file accessing methods. So in today's session, we'll see the directory structure or the structure of a directory. In operating system so we know that the difference between a file and a directory so file means it's a collection of related data okay or it's a collection of records but whereas a directory it's a collection of files so how these directories will be structured so that the files can easily be ex uh, accessed from the directory so there are different ways to structure these directories in order to access the files from the directory so without delay, let us start today's session that is directory structure. So this directory is a collection of files, a collection of files and this file is collection of data or we can also call it as a records collection of data or records right so how many ways these directories will be structured so there are uh, four categories mainly the first one is so single file directory next two file directory tree structure tree structure or hierarchical structure hierarchical structure and the finally a cyclic graph A cyclic graph so these are the different ways a directory can be structured in operating system so let us start with the first one so coming to the single file directory so coming to the single file directory the name itself indicates only one directory will be there and all the files will be created in that particular directory only so single directory So all files will be stored in same directory, in same directory, okay. So for example, let us take A is a directory, okay. So square box represents directory, circle represent file okay so as per this session so just in, uh, remember if i represent anything with a uh, square or rectangle that represents a directory and a circle represents a file so one directory where it will be having so file 1 file 2 file 3 and so on file 4 so all the files will be residing under the same directory okay so here what is the advantage of using this particular single file directory so one advantage is easy implementation because only one directory will be created easy implementation and another one easy searching so if you want to search any file so you can directly search that one in only one directory so these are the advantages coming to the disadvantages what are the disadvantages so only one disadvantage here is we need so there might be a chance of having a naming collision so naming collision is a one disadvantage naming collision that means so we are storing all the files in a same directory so we have to give the unique name for each and every file so the do i mean if 
it is not possible to give the same name for multiple files so there might be a chance of naming collision okay and also searching so whatever the advantage that same will be the disadvantage when directory is having large files so if directory is having a large amount of files number of files then automatically the searching is a some sort of difficult process so this is the advantages and disadvantages of single file directory only one directory will be maintained and all the files will be residing under the same directory now coming to the second one that is a two file directory so coming to the two file directory so there will be a root directory which, which we call it as a master directory and every user will be having their own directories so that will be in a two level right see so instead of creating a single directory there will be a root there will be a root so in the root there will be different users see u1 u2 u3 are different users so every user will be having their own directory and in the users there will be files see this is a user level directory and these are all files and this is a root which also called as a master directory master directory so in this case you can see the files the whatever the disadvantage here that can be overcome so the disadvantage of one file directory is a naming collision so here there will be no naming collision okay no naming collision so it becomes the advantage okay no naming collision no naming collision so because every user will be having their own directory and all the files related to that user will be stored in their directory itself so you can see f1 and f2 are the files in user 1 and you can give the same names for the files which are stored in user 2 also so here this one is an advantage and searching becomes easy okay searching also becomes easy searching becomes easy because we are grouping here okay based upon the users based upon the users whereas disadvantage what is the disadvantage of this particular uh, structure means we can't group the files okay under the same directory so grouping of files is not possible so here a grouping means creating the subdirectories i'm writing here subdirectories so user 1 will be having only the file 1 and file 2 user 2 will be having file 1 and file 2 user 3 will be having file 3 user 4 will be having file 4 so under the user we can't create a uh, uh, subdirectories right so again we can't uh, group the similar files into a sim uh, subdirectories so that is not possible in this two file directory so in order to overcome this disadvantage we are moving on with the third one that is a tree structure tree structure or uh, hierarchical structure so in this hierarchical structure what happens means so that the same thing happens so see there will be a root under root you will create a user uh, directories different user directories will be created and under user so there will be a files which can, which can be stored as well as you can also create subdirectory
So in this subdirectory, we can create a files. See, so under the root, every user will be having their own directories and in their di directory, there will be different files. And apart from that, user can also have a sub subdirectory. Usually the same thing will be implemented in our personal systems. In our personal computer, the same tree structure will be applied. Okay, if you click on the explorer, you can see the C drive. So under the C drive, some uh, desktop, okay, and uh, downloads. So like that, you can find out a uh, different directories and in the directories, we'll be finding these files, right? So this happens here. So user, user directory, and then the subdirectories. User directories will be having the subdirectories and subdirectories will be having the files. So here, the, uh, this is the advantage. Whatever the disadvantage here in our previous uh, structure, that will be the advantage. That means grouping is possible. The grouping is possible. And here the disadvantage, what is the disadvantage of this particular thing is, so the files of one user can't be shared by other user. Okay. So files can't be shared among different users. So user one can't access the subdirectory or F3. User 1 can't access file 7 because file 7 is under user 4. So this is the main drawback of this particular tree structure. So grouping is possible, there will be no problem and files can't be shared. So only F1 and F2 can be used by user 1 itself and similarly F3 and subdirectory 1 can be used by user 2 only and similarly F4, F5 and F6. All these three files can be uh, used by only user 3. Similarly, so this can be happens. This is a disadvantage. So, in order to overcome this advantage, we are moving with the fourth category that is SI click graph. SI click graph structure. So, what is this SI click graph structure means? So, whatever the disadvantage here, that becomes the advantage. So one user can access the files of another user. See, user one can access another user. Similarly, sorry, user four can access this one. Similarly, user two can access this one. So that means the files can be shared. So this is the advantage here. Whatever the disadvantage we have learned in uh, the third one, that is a tree structure. So files can be shared among different users. Okay. So here uh, you can see uh, user one can access the subdirectory which was created in user two. And similarly, user two can access the subdirectory and files which are created by user three. And similarly, subdirectory two can be accessed by user four. So this happens here. So the data can also be shared. The files can also be shared. So what is the disadvantage? So only one disadvantage over here is complex to implement. Complex to implement. It's a complex to implement. So sharing of one user files to another files. Right. So that is a disadvantage. So these are the four uh, ways how the directories can be structured to access the files efficiently. Okay, so see uh, single file directory, two file directory, uh, next a tree structure or a hierarchical structure, as well as a cyclic graph structure. Right. So I'll stop here. So uh, hope you enjoyed the session. And if you really enjoyed the session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.